What's going on guys, it's Wee Finney here, back with another video. And this one's to explain, like, this is what happens when your generals get uh, injured. So, as you can see, I just clicked on what was like arrows and a two. That's how many recruitment horns it costs. But if you just wonder, wonder if you just want to wonder, like, how much yeah, recruitment horns you have left, you click on your generals tab, and you, you see a wee horn here. A number, that's how many you've got. Once you've used all that, then you can use diamonds. But I suggest there's no point because you can just wait and they'll regenerate after some time. Now, we've unlocked our farmland, which is the output of food. So we'll click on the auto build. Now, as you can see, they're not upgrading uh, straight away, and that's because they're like a, a more higher building like they're they're more uh, dependable but you need them more so that's why it's taking a bit longer for them to upgrade um, <coughs> as you can see I completed a few quests before I went into the farmland so if I'm not done. now as you can see this came up here and it said ranks now this tells you like game reward. Now this tells you uh, what the ranks are in people. Now as you can see, these are the people that have got to level twenty six already or higher. Uh, these are your spots, your palace spots. Now you can see this is for king, archduke, duke, counselor, and marquis, and these guys here, the one, the red and the purple, these are your, basically your top players. They would usually have them. Um, I won't be able to fight like straight away for the king because when you click on fight, you have to fight the, the, basically the NPCs of that palace spot. So it's saying here attack left guard. So this is going to be easy enough. So we'll attack away. As you can see, they're all fortress battles, so your Eggnail will have the bonus. Now, I'll pick blue here, and I get lucky. And as you can see, it's one general, but he has five lines. That's how strong these guys are, how like hard the battles are at low levels. Um, usually, once I hit about level 40, that's when I start going through the palace spots, because you unlock it, better generals and stuff. Um, what I suggest in doing is once you unlock palace spots, not to go straight away like left guard, right guard, and then straight to king. I would go your left guard and your right guard. Then I would pick a blue uh, palace spot and then collect the reward then go straight up to green collect the reward yellow collect the reward then red collect the reward and then palace because you gain so much extra gold I think it ends up at near 300k extra gold so I would do that um, this here is an, another event that only lasts for 72 days and it's if you kill these certain players in the scenario they'll give you free diamonds uh, this guy here you have to get to level 76 within three days and it's hard to do it without using diamonds but if you do a lot of grafting you'll be able to do it so you will um, for some reason it wouldn't let me click on now as you can tell this is another recruitable general that we're going to unlock but for some reason in the scenario it says that he's cavalry but when you recruit him he's actually uh, basically mountain guards so his red, his red will be the upgraded uh, tactic and I found it a bit odd that the scenario is different from when you recruit him but uh, oh, after we defeat him I'm going to recruit him now, I'm not going to do it so I have to fire Eggnail and then 
I have two generals that use your tactics. I usually keep Eggnail until level 40 because that's when you unlock the next fortress general. So it is. So you might as well keep your fortress general until later on. So we'll fire Egg. Oh, I fired Eggnail. Uh, I got distracted there, sorry. So we'll just improve Grandmark. <laughs> Uh, it's fun when you mess up, but anyways. But what you can do if you if you're not playing for serious and you're just you just want to have fun in the game, just recruit who you like. Like, don't get like let people tell you, oh, you must recruit this person or you must recruit that person. It's a game you're there to have fun, so you recruit who you want to recruit. And as you can see. Like I said, he's no longer cavalry. He's a mountain soldier, which I found pretty weird. But uh, we'll hurry up and complete this. Because <coughs> uh, after we complete, I think, this scenario and the next scenario, we unlock world maps. And that's when PvP starts. And I'll explain to you some of that. Might just do a separate video to make it easier. I'm not too sure. Um, but also, see your general's tactic. You don't have to use it like as soon as it comes up, because what you can do is like you can use it right on your last line. So you can fight normally with your first line, and then use it on your second line. So you can, so you can save it for. To make more uh, more benefit come off it, or you can use it in your first one, whatever way you want. Now we unlock barracks here. Yeah. Now this is your rec recruitment speed. Now this is crucial in the game. Okay. And as you can see, we got gold hammers. Now I'll explain what they are. Th these here are like your must in the game. These must be the same level as you are. So what you do is you press auto build and you can just casually upgrade them as usual or use a gold hammer which it just completes it straight away without having to waste the time. So what I usually do is I would get it to level 5 normally uh, or level 6 sorry normally and then use the gold hammers just to get the, the more benefit out of them. Uh, as you can see you recruit 731 players or troops per minute um, but you can upgrade it upgrade it now here we go with just invest in a research that adds a whole extra line so that's why it's crucial um, this here we arrow here this is your basically uh, like a production increase so if you pay diamonds you can increase it by 150 or 200 percent for either one or seven or thirty days, depends on how much you want to waste. Um, we'll go into we'll defeat Rogner here because once we defeat him, we'll unlock the world map. And as you can see, we've got another XP scenario. Collect all this XP. There you go. Now you can what you can do if you want to like try and level up really fast you can pay diamonds to fight the player again or you can just leave it and just progress normal. Now as you can see this guy is pretty strong. You may wonder oh it's only one line he's easy but no watch. He uses what I call the Jedi move because that's basically what it looks like. But it hits four lines now that is pretty pretty strong hit for such a low level but that's why that, that extra technique or technology comes in handy and that's it for this video and I'll put up one more video to do with the world view and I'll see you guys later bye